Hello everyone, welcome to the next session of the videos fast sketching, Croquis Vite Vet. Um, in this session, I decide to just simply um, show you one of my kind of research sketches. You've seen some brief ideas I was searching in previous videos and show you how to look at the model and draw and imagine different things. This one is without the, without the model and this one is I am just trying to use what I remember from the model, from the model form and, and um, uh, try to create something, you know, uh, do some research uh, in, uh, for character which I want to use and express um, a portraiture of someone who, whom I would like to paint and um, uh, of course the face is it's not at this moment realistic um, but it's just as a character but what is important I I try to search what I'm going to do actually how I'm going to represent this this character and I know that it, I would like to represent in my painting kind of freedom uh, mystery kind of metamorphose of uh, you know um, uh, many attributes uh, horns is one of them uh, and uh, I probably would like to do some I'm gonna do some wings and maybe I don't know how I gonna finish the legs but something fun fantasy kind of uh, uh, from the world of fantasy of my personal uh, perception of how I see the person I want to, I intend to paint. So before I do anything, I just do this kind of sketches. The pre previous sketches were kind of preliminary, just searching for ideas. And as I did few of them, you've seen the previous videos maybe. So if, you've, if, you, if you have, so you know that I already tried to use some kind of horns and different you know, representations of the body form and everything. I have many of them, but I don't want to put everything on the videos and don't make you tired with uh, you know, elaboration of around the stem. I just uh, simply choose um, uh, some of them which I think is closer to what I might like to do uh, on my painting. So um, that's why I have certain things I want to represent as I mentioned. And to me, if, uh, you know, the persistence is kind of, you know, horns re represent kind of persistent, strong character, uh, you know, and the wings represent rather kind of free, freedom of mind, of, of, of uh, in general, kind of free spirit of the, the, the person in question. Um, so the personage needs to represent um, um, this uh, the, the, the kind of strong character and uh, at the same time freedom of mind and, and kind of liberty of um, you know um, in going through the to the daily life and everything um, and uh, some kind of you know poetic image some kind of uh, I, I, that's what my intention is so um, the previous sketches you've seen it just was kind of searching for kind of idea. Now I know much more about what I want to do with the head approximately. Still the position, the, 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 the composition of the horns might change, but I am getting closer and closer to what I actually um, would like to do. And, um, and uh, so I'm just kind of uh, trying to, you know, Mm, uh, visualize a little bit what I have in my mind and, and verify after if this makes uh, sense or something. So this kind of sketches, it's, I do many of them when I always before I paint I like to know where I'm going so it's uh, because it's not about the kind of landscape painting or whatever you know it's uh, fine arts painting is actually painting uh, which would uh, reflect something uh, you know much more uh, evident so um, 
some would say that this is kind of illustration. Uh, well, I don't know if this is really illustration, but it uh, mm, uh, doesn't matter how it could be taken by by some some um, uh, critics or whatever. But uh, that's uh, how I work on my paintings. I do a lot of sketches, and my sketches, as I mentioned, I like to see. Uh, where approximately the form's going to go and everything. So after I have much more, I work faster, first of all, because I already know where approximately I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. And this allows me to spend the other time much more in research of the colors and the appropriate kind of um, creation of um, you know, the ambience uh, in which the personage is existing and um, or will exist. So uh, um, just you know, try to kind of uh, you know, figure out the best uh, uh, what I want to, you know, really the best way I want to represent the, uh, the character I'm working on. So um, as I said, uh, to me it's kind of uh, is to have kind of poetic also, surrealistic poetic kind of, you know, uh, um, references and, uh, and uh, that's why I'm, I add the wings, I like the wings and I like the horns and uh, like the something I was thinking about doing with the legs but I think this kind of finishing of, this, of the feet might be interesting, it's something between uh, you know the environment I'm gonna see you're gonna see I'm gonna sketch uh, briefly in white only at the end um, but it is going to be kind of you know um, walking or some kind of stroll in the fantasy of the imaginary of my world and uh, how I want this special person to kind of represent the character I'm working on so um, as you as you as you remark, I use the craft paper. I love to do the preliminary sketches for my paintings on the craft paper because I'm using kind of two tones, as you see, actually three with the background of the paper, and you can create right away kind of you know visual uh, kind of effects. Where is going to be light? Where is going to be the shades? And where is going to be the half tones, and everything. So it's, so it's kind of makes your drawing much more interesting and it gives you also some kind of you know a, a certain part imaginary information because in this time this case I am not using the real model I am just trying to remember you know the body forms anyway I sketch many times uh, and so I already have some kind of a library of forms and human forms which uh, which is enough to my uh, uh, you know uh, fantasy drawings I can make um, and, and this is good that's why it's very important when you you know really go and you practice uh, live model sessions uh, because those uh, give you kind of you learning each time you draw even if your drawings are not perfectly successful whatever but you learn each time you draw model in situ you learn so um, doing from pictures and everything, this is not really, you know, uh, the best idea to do. Pictures is flat surface to flat surface. If you want to really do nice work and you want to really learn how to after do it from the memory, you need to practice first of all on the live models or in the worst scenario you go to the museum use the sculptures and train yourself on the marble sculptures is the best, the white ones um, of marble, but any kind of sculpture can serve you. It's just that you have to be much more experienced if you use any kind of other metal or something, uh, uh, you know, uh, figures uh, done from metal or whatever. But um, marble is very good for students anyway. In many academias, the marble figures are the most um, uh, you know, common uh, forms uh, students practice the drawing. And in the Venetian Academia of Art you have many beautiful sculptures and the students are very lucky because they use them and they do excellent drawings and 
So um, try to do this kind of go to the fantasy world and try to use from your imagination what you remember from drawing and the live models. Good luck and see you soon.